what is up guys welcome back to another video today we're on ps5 now i have to tell you guys that yes this is a pre-recorded well not pre-recorded uh post commentary sorry this is a post commentary um the commentary i had for this video got completely screwed up uh, my apologies it's completely my fault but yeah the guy in here that i'm playing he had his mic on but you, if you hear somebody that's not me it's him so i'm going up against this highlander I'm not going to lie, this Highlander is pretty good. I've been playing him. I played him a couple matches. Really, really good Highlander. So I'm bringing out my JJ. You get that nice parry. He's on the ground. Max punish. That's a zone. It's a top heavy. Whenever you get that slap out of stamina, that's the max punish. And now I'm just tagging him with lights. My boy Pug Hub. Can he get it done? Okay. Yo, look at Highlander, man. Highlander is ridiculous on console. Oh my goodness, it's light, light, throw the heavy. You can just light, light, offensive stance, light more. Like, it's crazy, man. And then once you once you think you go, okay, I finally got his rhythm down, he might throw a heavy in there, armored. It's crazy. But this is Black Prior. Now, this guy's a, a kind of a flip god. I don't know if I was just being super predictable, which I probably was being. Let me know when you're watching this. Like. I was being, I think I was being super predictable right there. I couldn't get the walls, but I was so mad. But this black prior, he, he knows how to flip right there. I, I got so lucky. Caught him. He gets a nice, nice out of stamina punish right there. I, I don't believe that was a full out of stamina punish. Oh, another flip. Like, look at that. Another one, boom, that's the second flip. And then he gets that, but luckily, he was out of stamina. That was the one break I needed. And we're just gonna let it fly, man. I'm not gonna feign it, I'm not gonna play around. Let it go the first time, see what happens. Boom, we got him. Now I have to fight this Highlander with half health. He always gets so lucky, man. <laughs> the nice Sifu. I didn't know if the zone would actually connect, so I didn't throw it. He gets a guard break though, but he's almost out of stamina, so he has to retreat now. I was hoping that he would like delay his dodge. Maybe I could catch him, but nah, it wasn't the case. We smack him with the heavy. And then we get him with that follow up light. He tried to kick, but luckily my light comes out first. And we caught him. Yeah, I know. The guy in the back is kind of loud. Round number two, baby. Here we go. Get some good lights of land. Ooh. He's really tagging me, though. He's really tagging me. I got to be careful here. See who stands that block to follow up. Hit him with the light. See, he's 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 on point with those heavies. So I don't really want to throw him out too much. Let me just regather my thoughts real quick. But how can I stop him from being in his offensive stance like this? Just like that. We see Fu, hit him with the zone. That time we canceled it into the light just to catch him off our dodge attack. Now, right there, I was considering Sifu stancing. I could have just top heavy him right there, but he was just going to fall on the ground anyway. And I had a, I had a lot of health. So I, honestly, looking back on it, I should definitely have executed him right there by just um, going out the top heavy after that parry. But oh, well, we still got the win. Well, still got that round. But this black prior, man. I've noticed that he loves flipping, right? So all I gotta do, boom, wait for it. Wait for him just to go into his flip. Like he he found my rhythm, right? So instead of just sticking to my rhythm, just wait for him to go for his full guard and then bulwark, DB him, throw him to the wall, get the easy win, baby. All right, next up we have another Highlander, Zozo the Tweak. Now this guy right here, Gave me a run for my money. Not even gonna lie, guys. This is intense. So we get that nice parry right here. Give me that choke. Doesn't run out of stamina though. Can you believe it? But it's okay. They focus, hit him with some lights. I like to always save my heavy finisher, like when I really, really like wanna catch him off guard. I want him just to basically 
assume that I'm just giving him a barrage of uh, heavies, raw like just re random heavies like that, like those dodging heavies, and just lights. And then when it's time, I hit him with one light, and then go for the heavy finisher when I whenever I need to really really finish a round off. Right there, I tried to I tried to fake him out with it, try to hit that light for the win, but we get the zone. I always, I always like to say that's just how I play with JJ. I know I should use it way more, his unblockable, but I just like to use it for when they're at critical to really like force a reaction out of them. Yeah, I should use it earlier, but I mean, for right now, this is just how I'm playing and it seems to work for right now. Go ahead and dodge that, knock him out. I don't, I'm not sure if he, did he faint that or did I just knock him out of it? Oh, that GB, baby. I'm going to go for light and then heavy because I don't want to use zone. I would have ran out of stamina. Knocked him out of his light. Back up. Tried the Sifu right there. And he gets a out of stamina GB. That, that hurts. Now he's trying to get another one, you see? Because he knows one more will oh, probably win him the game. On him dodging, like I said... You save the heavy finisher, but when he's critical, force a reaction, and we get him. He was so used to those lights, he just started dodging, and that's when we let that thing rip. Get the win. Now for this final round, I gotta lock in. I really gotta lock in right here for round three. Because I know he has nothing to lose. He's gonna throw out all of his like secret tricks and, and, and you know, fancy stuff to try to get me. But right now, I'm just being real cautious. Really, really cautious. Tag him with a light here. Could have, could have, could have threw another light. I don't know why I didn't. Now he's smacking me. Now he's getting everything that he wants right now. He gets the kick. Didn't go for the punish though. I don't know. Maybe he did a miss input. Most likely. But hey, miss inputs. We take those. Catch him. Trying to, trying to GB me. Caught him on the whiff. Hit him with the zone, baby. Now we're just tagging him with lights. Boom, another light. And then we let the heavy finisher fly when, he, when he's at critical, man. Now, you don't want to do that too often because your opponents will catch on. But it works for, for right now, at least. All right, here we go. We got the rematch. Now, he's bringing out his Lawbringer. Now, Lawbringer has always been a tough matchup for me. But we're going to try and take him down here. He's smacking me with those lights, man. Especially on console. Bro, um, Lawbringer, I don't know. Like, his, his, his whole kit is just like his lights are so fast. I get so focused on trying to catch his lights. And then when they, when Lawbringers finally throw those heavies out and, it, and one of those heavies hit you, it's like so, so draining because he goes deep into his combo after that. He lands one heavy and then he throws another one. You don't know if he's going to faint it or not. If it hits your guard, then he's deeper into his combo. Now you got to deal with his unblockable. Like Lawbringer is such a beast. He was good on PC, but now on console, he's even better. Like just because of you know how console is in general like his offense is really good so you just want to really really take your time with people like lawbringer he has a lot of health <laughs> a crazy amount of health so does jj but you know lawbringer you know his health is you know among among the best you know jj warlord lawbringer you know, they, they all have great health pools. And then he, like, look at what he just did to me, guys. Oh, my triple heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy called me with all of it, man. I tried to see food stance because I thought he was going to go to the bash. Now, I don't know if I can wake up and see food and dodge the bash like that. Like, after he throws me to the ground and double heavies me, if I can get up and see food stance that bash. That's what I was attempting to do. But he ended up just throwing another heavy and just completely, completely, like, destroying me. So, yeah, that's the last time I'm going to try that. I have to lap that. I don't, I'm not sure if I can actually get that. We did get that zone of land. One thing I've noticed about console, like this is PS5 gameplay, by the way, but it still plays exactly like PS4. The only difference is that it's in 4K. And again, I apologize. You're probably not getting the full effect because um, I had to record from PS5 software, not my like actual like capture card. Again, uh, next video will be completely fixed. I apologize for that. But this Lawbringer, man, like he is so tough to hit. Like he gets, he's getting solid parries deep into his combo right there. Oh my goodness. 
Now I'm just trying to fight back, trying to just get my turn back so I can get some damage. We tag him right there. We're tagging him with some lights. Oh, I completely, like, right there. I completely missed that zone parry, man. Oh, I felt so bad about that one. Like, I was literally, like, I was just literally, like, in shock. Like, wow, I actually just missed that. I was beating myself up about it, but it's okay. We got more rounds. We just got to come back from this. We need two rounds right here. All we got to do is come back. And block that. Now he's playing a waiting game. He threw he threw a raw heavy as his first attack completely caught me. I mean, right as I was going to do something, trying to catch me again. I baited out this time. He didn't have enough stamina, so I didn't I didn't go for the choke. But now it, he's in his he's in uh his offense. Like he's deep into his chain. It's tough to stop Lawbringer when he's when you get him. When he gets going like that. Got the parry finally. Caught him low stem. So this will knock him over. Going for the top heavy. Right there. I try I, I was thinking about zoning. I should have just zoned. But I didn't do it for some reason. Now now things are close, man. Things are super close. Can I clutch it? The zone came through, baby. The option select zone came through. He wasn't he wasn't ready for it. I can select the, the regular heavy, not the unblockable. And it hit him. What more can I say? Somehow we got past that round. Now we're at the final round five, man. Let's do this, Zozo. No, but uh, Zozo, if you're watching this, man. Really, really, really good player. I need to play console more, though, to get more used to this. You guys know in December... 60 FPS comes to PS5 and Xbox Series X. It's currently not here yet. So this is just like basically the same thing as PS4 gameplay in terms of frame rate. So right now we're just waiting till December. I really want to start playing console more so I can get used to it. So when that um that FPS hit comes, well not hit, but the increased FPS comes in December, we can like compare, you know? And, and I can I can tell you guys if it's really, really worth it. So if you guys don't have a PS5 or the new Xbox just yet, you might can um, decide if you want to get it. Like if you're a heavy For Honor player, I know there's some For Honor guys that are that don't have the new console yet and are skeptical if the update is really, really going to help. And right there, look at that, guys. He catches me. This is just Lawbringer 101. Lawbringer at his finest right here, man. Lawbringer at his finest. Just... Gets into his combos and mixes you up and deals massive damage along the way. All right, guys, you know it wouldn't be right if we didn't get the final showdown, man. Zozo has one. I got one game. This is the tiebreaker right here, boys. And he went his own Wu Lin, so it's a Wu Lin showdown, too. Two characters that have iframes on their dodges. Look at that. We caught him right there. Hit him with a top light. Hit him with another light. That's big damage right here. Catch him with the zone, too. But now he's coming back. He's getting his own parry. Tagging me with a light. I'm like, okay, I'll be ready for the next one. Got the next one. Boom. Get some massive damage right there. And he catches me with the guard break. Can't believe it. I should have just zoned. But I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Because I can catch him with my zone too. But guys, we are we were dancing this fight, man. This was this was a lot of fun. I like using characters that a lot of people aren't using you know it's always fun to see like a matchup between someone other than like a highlander someone other than a black prior or like gladiator something you know something different and this is a matchup you usually don't see so this is a lot of fun right here he gets a solid pair like look at those parries man yo zozo he he was on point man he was on point now nah, i'm a pc guy i'm used to having mass uh, a lot of frames to my advantage so I like to like really, really look at the animation before I just uh, determine to parry or not. And when I play on console, man, you got to be quick, bro. You can't, you can't, you can't just you know look at all the frames as you guys can see here. Tags me with a quick light. You got to be on your feet, man. You got to. But I'm really, really looking forward. I think when the uh, update comes in December, it's going to be the perfect bridge for the PC players to all migrate to console. 
and it, man it's gonna be fun i think a lot of new play or old players might return the people especially the people who didn't like um the core combat update they're gonna like this if, if they get their hands on a ps5 i know it's difficult but i'm I honestly feel like it's going to be a very, very well needed adjustment as we get the zone pair. We baited it out and we got it, baby. Get on the floor. Look at that massive damage. 16 plus 32, baby. Let's go. Nice 48 damage. Punish. Hit him with another zone. Now we're just trying to space him out. Catch him. Tried to bait him into something, but he decided to get hit me with that dodge attack. Got that parry. Hmm. There we go. Finally caught one of those unblockable lights, man. And there we go. The zone ends it. I love using that zone, man. The zone catches a lot of people off guard. Maybe because maybe JJ isn't that that played. I haven't ran into many JJs when I play console, but maybe people don't run JJ like that and they don't expect that zone to come out. But I like incorporating incorporating the zone in my in my play a lot. Give me that. Faded it out again, baby. Yeah, I just been throwing out in heavy feigning, trying to catch his zone, trying to catch him um, option selecting. All that too, but that's not going to knock him out of stamina though. It's not going to knock him out. Not over yet. Now, right there, I was actually surprised he didn't parry or at least deflect or something because I thought that was so obvious. So now I'm kind of like telling myself, no more option select, no more, no more. Went for an actual hard parry right there. Didn't get him on the floor though, man. Oh my goodness, what's up with this? Like one one stamina, like punishes right here. I, I want the full out of stamina. He hits the wall. Look at that, man. He was getting choked out. Let's go, baby. And that's all she wrote. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a comment, subscribe, like the video. Like I said, I'm sorry for the um. For this, I had to record this through PlayStation. I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. But hope you guys enjoyed this. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Have a safe one. And uh, yeah, catch you like. And yeah, catch you next time.